Hey guys, it's Banna. Welcome back to Mario Galaxy. I am sorry that it has been a very long while, but that is because I am lazy and also because of holidays and whatnot and going places and I just haven't had a time to sit down and record. So I'm going to try and knock everything off in this sitting. Like I'm pretty much just going to record the whole thing because the verses have has kind of tried to lean me into... We're doing Toy Time. Uh, the Versus has kind of lean me into doing a recording every week, but the problem with that is that I have to sit down and do... I have to sit down and... set everything up every week, which is a bit of a hassle. And I, I more so prefer just knocking off the recordings all, like, in sitting, so, like, maybe you know, like doing three in one go. And right now I'm basically going to knock off the next six or so parts in one sitting, which is pretty much the end of the game. Uh, but anyway, we're going to be jumping into toy time. Uh, so yeah, I think from this point on, none of the stuff I'm doing is... Oh, from this, from this point on, like, the time you're watching it at home, or wherever you are at work, get back to work. Um, you gotta get a lot of stuff, it's a thing you gotta get like 50 for the Hungry Luna. Okay, oh gosh. Don't die, don't die. Didn't know you were allergic to nuts. Oh, you don't have 50 yet. Okay, where is the... I'm gonna need one more, man. One more. You're not gonna give me one. But anyway, yeah, so this stage is pretty fun. Uh, Mario meets Mario. Oh, get, got it. Alright, good. Uh, I think that Hungry Luma wants 50. Now, I know the Hungry Luma... Only the... <laughs> the Good Egg Galaxy... That's the only star that you're required to actually feed a Hungry Luma, and there are like about like 20 other Hungry Lumas, there you go, 50. There are about 20 other Hungry Lumas in the game, but you don't need to feed them. Uh, but anyway, yeah, so... That's it, I'm stuff. Here we go, trust me! That's what Hungry Luma is. Uh, so anyway, yeah. So I'm sorry that it's been a while, I will, I will be catching up. Uh, we'll do that later. So I'm on three. Where's the other ones? I know there's one on the screw on the other side. Is there one on this side? Yeah, there is. Oh, yeah, it's on the other side of the screw, yeah. Now someone's gonna be yelling at me, get, get a coin, yo! You're on two life! Jeez! And thankfully, the star is right there. So anyway, that worked. Let's go! So anyway, yeah. I want to get back into the spirit of just recording, because I haven't really had that much of an opportunity to record. And I, I am not going to have... I, th I think I'm going to be uploading this on... Uh, quite later, but it's going to be a big break. I think early, early October, just because of exams and also holidays and whatnot. Because holidays are not but I still going to go places. So yeah. Oh gosh. Anyway, yeah, this is this isn't a long star. It's basically just this. Learn the layout of this. It would help in a bit. <laughs> Purple coin mission. Yeah. Purple coin mission. Everyone knows what I'm talking about. It's still Mario and the Luigi. If you're playing as Luigi, right? I think it is. I think it is, yeah. Uh, but anyway, yeah, that's our first star. I'm gonna go back and do the Hungry Luma now. I think a Hungry Luma would be longer than the actual star. 
you don't have to get the... Alright, so we're on 86, which means we got to do 35 more stars. We're not counting Grand Finale, we're counting Bowser again. Gotta reiterate... Oh! Purple Comment C-Slide, let's do this, because it'll totally drain as much time as I want, but... I, th I think it's necessary that we do some of the Purple Coin missions. And I think C-Slide... Is C-Slide one of the timed ones? No, it's not. It, it really doesn't seem like the timed one. Nah, it's not timed. So yeah, we're gonna have a fun time with this. It's the Purple Coin missions. They're gonna drive everyone insane. Now, I haven't actually wa watched any of the parts uh, that they put up recently, so I'm not too sure exactly where they are, and especially because they released like three more parts in the span that I've recorded this one. Because I am lazy. Alright. So I believe, yeah, pretty much all of the non-timed ones, there aren't an excess. So you gotta hunt down every single... Every single last stop. Stop it? Purple coin. Why don't you line up? Oh, you've gotta be kidding. Jeez, that worked. Get on the frickin' tree, charge, get on the frickin' coin, get on the frickin' cloud, get the frickin' coin that you frickin' need to do the frickin' stuff, get over there you frickin' cloud, stop saying frickin', let's frickin' stop now. Alright, got that. So yeah, um, nice peaceful club coin mission, the beginning of a part. This one's actually not that bad. It's, it's quite, you know, just go around, go around, do the stuff. You know, it's not Freeze Flame. Because Freeze, the problem with Freeze Flame, it's not a problem, but the annoying part about the Freeze Flame Pokemon mission is that it's a very com complex stage. This one, it's quite linear, you can just go all the way around it. Yeah, you can just go right around the whole thing. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm gonna want those. Because why wouldn't I want them? Alright, save the bee suit somehow, but okay. Alright, get on that cloud, yo. So, we got 24. Now, I know it's my s star schedule. Which is how many stars I need in each part. This isn't the speediest way to do it, but considering I'm going to have to do it anyway, I may as well do it now, you know? When the opportunity has struck. Struck. I'm sorry, I'm a little bit stagnant in my toe. I'm on a toe. So, anyway, yeah, so. I guess, I guess now's the time to give the final thoughts about Sea Slide. I actually like Sea Slide a lot, although the main ga the main uh, galaxy stars are a little bit out of ideas, like, especially because both the first and second stars really involve similar things. I understand maybe, yeah, this stage definitely needs a race, but, I don't know, considering, you know, the race on the go so far. See, there's purple coins up there, that's what I was thinking when we were doing. The silver stars. Oh, hopefully, I'm not missing any behind the behind the lighthouse. I believe these ones may get some people. Okay, that got wet. Anyway, get quite a lot of starbits from those. Oh. Dang it, I missed. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I like this. I like this galaxy. You know, it doesn't. It's not that complex. It just involves quite a fair amount of looking around in the purple point mission. Like uh, some of the late. Oh gosh. Ah, uh, you've got to be kidding. I'm gonna go all the way back. 
Or can I can I do a skill jump? Wait, I got this. Oh dang it. Got it. Skill jump. I mean yeah, it is a lengthy Pub Coin mission, you know? It's this Pub Coin mission does take quite a fair amount of time. I'm sorry, the cameras is revolving around the lighthouse. Dang it. Alright, go! Get in the cloud. There you go. Alright, you good? You good? Now we gotta make our way down. Wait, there were no Pokemon in that. <laughs> okay, good. I was going, oh, there's none on that cloud, right? The one that I jumped over? Yeah. Ah, oh, dang it! Freaking purple coin! The purple! And I don't like purple things. There's no purple Yoshis. Maybe because purple dinosaurs will trade one Get on me! I'm gonna shake them all. I got some purple coins! Says the sheep. Saying bar bar. Oh, there we just need to hack up. Alright, jump! Jump and shoot, man! No, it's not jump and shoot, man. There's no shoot. Alright, oh wait. Let's just stop this. I thought there were purple coins there for a second. They're blue, so of course. You can see the misconception. Oh, it's crashed! Huh. I hope the toads are alright. I don't see flooding in there. Either that or just because the water is rendered. Okay. Fly, Charlie! Uh, oh, still gotta keep going up. Alright, that's it. Alright, 66. We've only got 18 minutes left, that's okay. Oh gosh. Music's nice. When have I said the music's not nice? If music isn't nice, then why would it exist, you know? First person shooters. I'm sorry, but first person shooters have really bad music. Besides Half Life. But still, Half Life, you can't really credit the music. It just kind of, as much as I said, you know, it's got good music. The music doesn't really add that much to the experience. It just kind of like pops up and then it's not there anymore. Like, it's extremely background. First person shooters and whatnot. Like, I like Quake. Okay, I'm gonna compare this to Quake and Doom, which are quite classic, but I like Quake quite a lot. But, uh, I prefer Doom for a couple of reasons, one of which is just because of the music. Like, music is really kick butt, you know? And it's not like they c it can't be scary with music. Like, um, yeah, Doom 3 barely had any music, I don't think it really had any at all. But, um, like, uh, what was it, Dimos Lab? E2, M4 or something? The music in that stage really creeps me out, especially going through the stage, because there's faces on the walls, ooh. Not the stretch faces, just the weird statue looking faces. Those are the ones that freak me out. Uh, but anyway, when you compare it to Quake, Quake doesn't have any music, and I guess you could say Doom 64. Doom 64 is a very fun game. It's a 
doesn't have the music. By the way, Doom 64 is a different game. <laughs> when you compare it to things such as Doom, I am missing one coin. You've got to be kidding me, one coin. Unless a uh, toad gives you a no. Oh, there it is. I think it's over there where the cursor is. Well, that's handy. No, actually, I'm gonna swim it. All right, go. Because Mario swims so fast on the surface. Like seriously, seriously, Mario's just like. Shoo! Except I'm gonna need the bee suit anyway. All right, now is the star over here, or is it back at the starting island? Oh, it's on the top of the frickin' flagpole. Oh. I should probably be picking up these starbits, shouldn't I? Yeah, I'll need that one. I'll need that one. I'm gonna be needing these starbits for the last Hungry Luma. She needs like 2,000. Alright. Anyway. See, this one's not that bad though, because you're not really falling off. Like, it is a stage where, you, where it is possible to fall off, but you're not really going to fall off. Go <laughs> So anyway, yeah, so we're about done with this part no. About done with the stage, but anyway. Whoa. Got it. Okay, that's one of the longer purple coin missions out of the way. You know, I think there's, um, you remember the Fast Foes comments? I believe we we did one on Cyclone State, Slate. There were only two in this game, and they got rechanged to the Double Time comments in the second game. There were only two in this game. One of them is on uh, the Cyclone State and Beach Ball. The other one's in Toy Time, just on a random section, which I think is actually part of the, the Hungry Luma style, so... Anyway, so we'll go back to Mario meets Mario meets Mario meets Mario meets Mario, and then we'll we got 12 minutes, so hopefully we can knock off maybe three stars. I'll be happy with three. Actually, is it possible to to speed run this? Of course it is. Jeez. A lot of starbits on this stage, but. Oh, so I was working off my butt the first time trying to get 50, and then I was just like, You've got to be kidding me, it's on... Oh. It is on two right there, it's on one. Jeez. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, this is where the Hungry Lumber would be normally. Anyway, I believe you've got to stand on platforms and not get your face crushed. Let's get onto the other bits, you just long jump. Oh, he's gonna go back. You wanna watch out for these things. They're kind of annoying. Someone may be telling me off for not going the best way. Ah, springy board. This is a really good example of the gravity in this game. Just this section alone. 
Alright, let's see if we can grab it. Oh, I'm covered. Okay, where is that last one? Because I know I didn't just circle. Oh, man. There's one over there. I don't know if it's the last one. It could, if it's the last one, I'd, yeah. Okay, that's good. I remember the first time I did this, I was like on one of these guys, and I got crushed right here. Because I was standing on the on the lip of him. Okay, so where is it? It's on the dot down there. Alright. Anyway, so that's... Get the frickin' star, there you go. So we got nine and a half minutes. We may be able to knock off three stars. I'll be happy with three more stars. <laughs> that's a very big maybe, because we've still got one more star left of the Toy Time Galaxy, which I'm going to knock off right now. I always say knock off. I know that's a Pokemon move, I don't, I don't use knock off that much. Uh, but up we go, and oh, what do you know, Purple Comet. Wait, what? Purple Comet? Oh, the Purple Comet. Oh yeah, I remember the Purple Comet here. It's actually, it's not that bad of a Purple Comet. It's a, it's a very short one, so... Two purple coin missions. Oof. Glorious. Anyway. Luigi's purple coins. Oh no. This one's pretty annoying, but I believe there's like 120 purple coins in this. And you have to only pick up... Oh, 150, yeah. So you only have to pick up so many. So if you botch yourself up, then you're okay. You also, unlike the previous one where there was lava, this one's like purple goop. Green, it's not purple, it's green goop, and you don't want to stand in the green goop. Ah, oh, crap, I missed one. Dang it. I don't want to mess up myself getting out. Ugh, missing so many. Thankfully, I'm halfway there. Uh, but you don't want to stand in that goop, because that goop will insta-kill you, and the, and you can't jump out of it. It will suck you in. Unlike the lava, where you bounce off of it, and you have to try and save yourself. Uh, this goop will kill you if you touch it full stop. Uh, it's, it's kind of tricky this. You gotta make sure you, you do your jumps right. Because, especially because if you're leaving so many coins. Alright. I think we got this. Yeah, there's, there's a bunch of coins over there. Okay, I'll just head back now, I guess. Okay, don't botch up the landing here. Oop. More than a hundred, what? Ah, that went well. Okay. So I don't know how long, how long the next star will take, but hopefully it'll be quite short. Hopefully. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Da-da-da-da-da-da! 32 more stars. Which is pretty good. Okay, let's see if we can do this. Okay, we'll do the third star of Toy Time Galaxy and hopefully the... the... Fast Foes Comet. I know it's a Fast Foes Comet. Hopefully that will come up straight away. Bouncing down Cake Lane. Okay. Oh wait, this one does take quite a while though. Maybe, maybe we'll have to end it after this one, because we've got six minutes. I'm always knocking off the time, I'm like, <laughs> knock off. Uh, I'm always noting the time. <laughs> and then the toad, what does the toad say? Even going around the other way is fun. Spoons! 
Oranges. Oranges aren't fun. Fruits are boring. Anyway, so... Now we have to go back to the spring suit. I believe you barely use the spring suit that much in this game. Considering, you know, you find out about the spring suit in the fifth of the six domes. You know, it's in the latter half of the game, definitely. Although, yeah, you can... You can, you can actually find this in... I've already talked about it, but you can actually find it in the Poker Point mission of Beach Ball. Because Beach Ball also, the Poker Point mission uses the spring suit. And you can access that before you access this stage. I like this, this is just like, ah. Uh... Now, the spring suit, everyone hates it, we know, but... You need it to do this. I'm sorry, I'm like frothing. Oh gosh! Oh gosh! <laughs> oh, that was close, okay. Alright, come on, come on. In! There we go. Yeah. And then the freeze flame music pops up. I like. Oh gosh! I like, I love this ice cream, but anyway. I love the setting that they've got here, just chilled foods. In the location of the stage, it makes no sense, considering, you know, why the heck is it cold? But anyway. Can you fall off this? I don't want to try. Oh, crap! Crap! Oh! Dang it. Do I have to start from the ice cream cone? Crap, I have to start from the ice cream cone. Frickin' ice cream cone, how could you? You know what, that was, that was like the end bit as well. So yeah, don't get hit by these things, even after the icy bit. I don't think you can actually walk on the underside, so you have to be quite careful on this. And you're bound to start spinning. Thankfully they- oh! Yep! Ah, oh, for goodness sake. Ah, oh, for goodness sake. Oh, gosh. You know what I hate? Dying at a point earlier than where you went. Because that's just going like, oh, you've got to be kidding. Losing progress. I hate losing progress. I'm a, I, I love tracking progress. I don't know why. It's, it's something that keeps me going. I'm like, oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm totally going to do this. Yeah. Because, like, yeah, make progress. That'll keep me going. Jump! Oh. Oh. Jump! See, that's the thing, that was like the end bit. And I know there's a one-up behind the thing I... Or, life room. <laughs> okay. So anyway, into the cannon, and... I wonder where we gotta go. I'm just gonna aim straight at and just get the star bits. Why wouldn't you? Do, 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 do. I believe there's a secret over to the other side, but I'm not going to go over there because I'm going to be really low on time. I don't know, I've only got like a minute. Oh crap! Don't look down on your clock. What are you doing? This? Anyway, you've got to blow out the candles. I don't think it's cryptic, I think they tell you somewhere. <laughs> hey, look at this cake! We totally didn't reuse it from Rocky Road Galaxy. Or from sweet, sweet Stuff Galaxy. Nope, not even the cherries on top of the toads. <laughs> anyway, for boss time! Hey, remember this guy that we absolutely pummeled in Gold Leaf? Which is apparently, considering I started Gold Leaf about like, about like three episodes ago.
Now, unfortunately, you can't use the bee suit. You got to use the spring, and the spring is probably the most annoying item. Because it's a lot more difficult to dodge this stuff. But you can hit him that way. And I think you keep the spring, so you can go up and hit him again. Just don't get hit now. Ow. Like that. And there goes the buzzer. And the buzzer is off. Alright, so Springy is over here. Oh gosh. You have got to be kidding, I just got that. What? Oh. <laughs> Shoves me right back at it. Like the Kirby show. That's the thing with this boss, is that just because... Wait, he's about to go. Oh, you got to be kidding. Wait. Success! Yeah! <laughs> oh, gosh. And he flies off. So anyway, we got the star. Five stars. I'm... Oh, crap. I gotta climb back up. Aha! <laughs> okay, so... We may have gotten only five stars, but I'm happy about that. I'm happy, you know. We got sea slide purple coins. So anyway, we got 31... 31? Yeah, we got 31 more stars left of the game. got quite a lot of star bits for that part of stuff. I think that was a good part. Anyway, I'll see you kids next time. Woo!